Well, just like clothes, cars, and hairstyles, trends in home furnishings come and go. But there's just something about um, old furniture that no matter what the style is timeless. Even pieces that are broken can be repurposed into a one-of-a-kind piece. That's what you'll find at the barn in Del Mar. For more than 20 years, this barn has been a bit of a creative outlet for Ray and Nancy Eicholtz. We moved down here, I guess, about 21 years ago. And um, at that time, we had an empty barn over here that was a horse barn. Um, and my wife got this idea about starting a little craft shop in there. And um, after a lot of th thought about it, we did it and it just took off. In fact, today the barn is stocked floor to ceiling with primitives and country decor, including pieces Ray has repurposed. I always loved woodworking and making things. Uh, I was a carpenter for a while. We started getting some old furniture in here, tearing it apart, make sure it was working correctly, put it back together and painting it up, making it look old. and. Um, it's just, you know, and it just took off. Ray usually finds the pieces at auctions or customers bring them in. I look at it and know I can do something with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And sometimes it does set for a while till I get my little vision. And that's when he takes it to his shop and works his magic. So, Ray, tell me about this piece right here. This is pretty interesting. Yeah, this is kind of like my little uh, uh, specialty thing here. Uh, it's a buggy bench is uh -huh. what I call it. It's got a buggy seat, uh, about a 1900 buggy seat that I found. And I took an old rope bed, which was a, a single bed, mm -hmm. and cut it down to make the platform for the, uh, t for the bench part of it. And combined the two, and it, I think it comes out looking pretty cool. It's certainly a one of a kind. It's a one of a kind thing. Not too many people have these. Ray says he likes to look for things that are a little bit different, like this old organ. Or is it a table? All right, this is definitely a good example of repurposing, isn't it? This sure is. This was an old pump organ. Of course, it didn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. It was ready for basically the junkyard. Nobody wanted it. Uh, I grabbed a hold of it for a really good value. Uh, took a lot of work, tore it apart, took the keyboard off, kind of put the keys here, made a nice little table out of it. And I think it looks pretty cool. It would be a beautiful little table in a nice big hallway in a big old house. and. Um, it's just some way you can take something from the past and still bring it to today and, and still have a use for it. Absolutely. Other primitive pieces in the barn are Amish made. Well, the Amish furniture years ago had a great reputation of being uh, top quality. And they were great, especially in their oak line of furniture. They just made beautiful, beautiful furniture. And um, they still do today. Ray says Amish craftsmen are using more pine furniture, which costs less. And he says you won't find the hearts and sheep on the country line these days. The most popular color is black, and stencils are in. A lot of Ray's repurposed pieces have stencils. And whether Ray makes the furniture or it comes from Amish country, the demand is there. The primitive furniture has always been a market there for us. And uh, so it was just something we expanded on and... Um, went with. Over the years, the barn has evolved into what it is today, but the original mission to sell quality country crafted decor remains. We carry, a, you know, a full line of country um, decorations. We do a lot with dining room suits, hutches. Uh, they come uh, from Tennessee. Uh, we have fabric such as couches, chairs, uh, come out of North Carolina and then our full line of Amish other furniture. And Ray says the primitive furniture hits a sentimental spot with many customers. We often hear people come in and say, you know, older ladies say my mom had one like that. So it does transpire back. It brings back a lot of memories. Memories, Ray says, he will continue trying to bring to life. And the barn has actually expanded since it first opened. There are two buildings. The original barn carries the Amish furniture, pictures, lamps, curtains, and other decor. The second building is loaded with primitive decor, such as Ray's repurposed furniture. Well, quite a selection for today's holiday gift card winner, Katherine Taylor of Federalsburg. You won a $50 gift card to the barn. Congratulations. And somebody else's holiday is about to get sweeter, too. Mm -hmm.
Brian surprises the winner of Spicer Brothers Construction's neediest roof contest. Brian? Well, shh, Jimmy and Lisa, don't talk too loud. We're actually standing not far from the home of the big winner. We're hiding at her neighbor's house. Coming up a little later in the show, we're going to surprise her. She's getting a brand new roof. You don't want to miss it. And from their home to your home, many of us will soon start the search for a Christmas tree to adorn this holiday. Angie from Angie's List gives us some advice on how to pick the perfect one. But first, we just announced today's holiday gift card winner. Tomorrow could be your lucky day. We're giving away gift cards to some of your favorite Delmarva businesses this holiday season. Entering is easy. Just go to delmarvalife.com and click on the holiday guide tab at the left side of the home page. Happy holidays from all of us at Delmarva Life and delmarvalife.com. We'll be right back.